Hey you guys, this is Asa here. Welcome to my channel. We are finally going to be catching up on some Zodiac nail designs. I am super excited about this. I have been backed up for a little while now. So we're just going to jump right in. We're going to get started. This video is going to be dedicated to Gemini. Like I said, super excited about this because I have been backed up. I want to say two months. <laughs> The last video I did was dedicated to the nails that I have on as of right now. As you can see, they're already starting to grow out. I didn't really do nothing to this hand because the other hand was like so much work. But yeah, um, so if you have not seen that video, go check it out. It was all hand painted and I really don't want to remove it. But um, I think for the next video, I don't know, we'll see how long I keep my current nails on. Uh, so for this video, I am using my practice hand. This is the tips that I physically use to insert up into the cuticle. I keep getting the same comments over and over again. So I might end up doing, I said this before, but I might end up doing a dedicated video just for this practice hand. But this is the Red Iguana practice hand. I just take full cover tips and I shove it right up into that cuticle section. I don't do anything else. Um, I don't glue it down. I just leave it as is. And I do buff over the surface just to roughen it up as you normally would if it was your actual nail prep. You know, you would remove the shine. So that's exactly how I prep these nails. I am going to go in with two types of tips. I'm going in with the non C curved coffin and then the stiletto. I did ask you guys opinions on what you think Gemini, like what colors should I use and all that good stuff. And I did get a couple comments speaking about, you know, even the shape of the nail using two different kind of shapes. So that's what I chose to do. I'm trying to listen to you guys. Um, but as well as the color choices, a lot of you said you guys wanted an opal nail design. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. I tried looking up certain colors and I don't want to go by the birth stone itself because each of the zodiac symbols, each of the zodiacs have, they fall in between two months. Like let's say me, I'm a Capricorn, but my mother is also a Capricorn, but I was born in December and she was born in January. Our birth stones don't match. They're two different colors. So I got a couple comments as well stating, why don't I just follow the color? you know birthstone for the zodiac and like i said zodiac falls between two months so it's like i'm picking and choosing i'm favoring one over the other so that's why i just decided to ask you guys your opinion and i'm just gonna stick with that i'm gonna follow it but as you saw right here i did go ahead and i glued down my tips with some of my rubber base gel this is exactly how i would do it on my normal hands and then i do go in with my 180 sandy band i'm around 6,000 rpm and i am blending that tip into the natural nail plate now for the tips as you saw i did take the stiletto and i put them on the pinky and the pointer and then the two middle or well, the two middle you hear me the middle and the ring nail is going to be the coffin now after i did this i noticed like you know the length was a little off and it was bugging me so i did go ahead and i just snipped off the tips of the coffin just so it wasn't so long compared to the stiletto nails so there is a lot of things that I used in this video. So I just decided to show you guys ahead of time what I decided to pull out. So I'm going to go ahead with the clear, uh, crystal clear and the milky white hard gel. Um, I ended up taking out these pearl essen colors. I think I keep saying Savvy Land, but I could be wrong. I think I got those there. Um, I ended up taking glitters from Sets Nail Co. These are gorgeous iridescent um, glitters. One has like a blue tint and the other one is just just like a like a clear white super super pretty um i ended up taking out these are seven different um they're almost like the little flicks they are they're pretty similar to the mia secret ones but i ended up getting these from a manufacturer because i've said this before i am thinking about coming out with my own so that's what these are looking like and this is everything out i also had these little pixie crystals that i ended up adding and then i am showing you something that i probably shouldn't be showing you but this is a colored hard gel that i will soon be coming out with so you guys are getting a sneak peek at one of 
the colors which is a pastel and it's called dreamy and i hope you guys love it when i do decide to finally come out with it there's just like a little bit of hiccups that we're still dealing with the sticker label and all this extra stuff that's super annoying but anyway um so to start off i'm going in with my dehydrator dehydrating the nail plates and then i'm gonna go in with my rubber base coat i'm gonna add a thin layer and then i'm gonna cure that for a full 60 seconds now, i could have definitely skipped this step because this is a practice hand and you know a practice hands don't need all this extra stuff but a lot of you guys like to see it so i just left it in for you guys So to start off, I am going in with the Milky White. I'm adding an extremely thin layer of this. Um, and then I do cure it for a full 60 seconds. Now, there is a lot of stuff in this nail design that I could have skipped. And I probably wish I would have did a lot of things different. But you know when you're in the moment and you're kind of trying to test things out, seeing what works, what doesn't. Definitely after I've completed these nails, there was a lot of stuff, like I said, that I could have skipped. But, you know, trial and error, like the nails ended up coming out good. You know, I liked how the, it ended up looking, but I could have did it so much easier if I would have known ahead of time what I could have just, you know, mixed. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, I'm just adding a very thin layer and then I'm going to cure this in place. Um, now, again, one of the comments stated that I should have did I should use a little bit of pink and purple so that's what I am doing I ended up taking out the pink I added a little bit to the only like half of it um, I wanted to do like almost like a transition from the left to right like a milky white all the way to like a pink purple color but you're gonna see this kind of made no sense because you end up not even seeing it at the end um, so yeah, as you see here, I'm just adding a little bit. I did flash cure it really fast and then I end up showing you another color Another sneak peek of another hard gel. Um, as you see, I'm applying a very thin layer These are colored hard gels. They are not a builder gel. So you can't build with it. They are um used to either do nail art you can encapsulate it or you can apply it on top of an existing extension or even your natural nail to give your nails a little bit of strength but like i said they are hard gels so they won't chip and they will definitely last way longer than regular nail polish but once i got my little purple and pink on i do go ahead i flash cure that in place and then here i go again with more um milky white now again, this is something that I think I can definitely skip when it comes to a lot of the layers. I add a lot of layers in between, but yeah, I don't know. I just keep going with the, with the flow and then <laughs> I just cure this in place. Okay, I lied. I don't care. I thought I did, but I don't. I end up going straight in with these metallic. I keep calling metallic. These little flakes. I call them metallic because Mia Secret calls theirs metallic flakes. Um, but these are seven different colors, and I am still undecided. Undecided if I want to come out with the flakes. I kind of feel like I need your opinion on it um they're super pretty and i have not seen some of these colors even out but yeah like i said i'm still trying to figure out if this is something that I, that I want to come out with same thing with the chrome powders that's still something that i'm thinking about testing out seeing if it's worth it if it's gonna benefit the business in the long run but let me know your thoughts on this but anyway as you see i am picking each one and i don't have a rhyme or reason for it i am just slapping it on and sticking it into that gel i'm not rubbing it because you can rub these in i'm just taking with that little brush a little bit at a time and just you know stippling it on um and i am not trying to i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna try to layer it because i am layering it on top but i do want you guys to see the difference between the colors once i add my next gel on top but once I do that, I do flash cure that into place. And then this is where, once again, I go in with another layer of that um, milky white 
color now i add a very thin layer of this milky white and i kind of felt like at this point this is where i kind of felt like i effed up because i wanted it to be a little bit more sheer so the next time i end up doing my other you know layer you're gonna see i do end up i don't know i think i recorded it but i do end up mixing a little bit of clear with the builder gel just so it's a little bit more milky uh, but yeah, so after I add this thin layer of gel, I do go in and I start adding some of the, uh, what do you call this? The chrome powders. And I ended up getting this brush from um, e.l.f. Cosmetics. I ended up getting, I think, at like Dollar Tree. This was like a while back. This brush is so old. Uh, this is like their smudge brush, I think, brush, I think they're calling it. But I'm taking the three... Um, pearlescent powders and i'm just tapping it in randomly once again um and like i said i'm doing a lot of layers but from there i do go in and i start adding some of that glitter from set snail co and i haven't cured it yet i'm still just placing it in and tapping everything in you know into that gel but once i finish this this is when i go in and i cure it into place now, after I cured it, I wasn't satisfied with it at all. I felt like I kind of took away from the, you know, flakes. So here I go again and I start adding more flakes on top of that. And I, you could still kind of see the pink and the purple coming through a little bit, but not as much as I wanted to. And I think that was my fault when it came to the milky white. It wasn't as milky as I felt it should have been. Um, so right now this is me just kind of adding all of the little pieces that I needed to add again. I do pick up the, the little flakes. I do go in, I add a little bit more glitter. I add a little bit more of that chrome powder. And this here, I wanted it to be a little bit more on the purple side because like I said, someone did mention adding a little bit of purple. So I went in and I mixed up that colored purple hard gel with clear and y'all it looked like nothing this looks i don't know i was so upset with myself because i felt like i was covering everything that i was doing at this point but i kept telling myself you know just trust the process maybe at the end of this it'll just look perfectly fine and yeah anyway <laughs> So after I added that layer, I ended up going in with these little embellishments. And I think I got these from AliExpress, which is the little stars. Um, because, you know, it is a Zodiac, you know, series. You got to add some stars up in there. And this is where I go ahead and I start encapsulating. Um, oh, I don't. I forgot. I ended up going in with the pixie crystals because I wanted some pixie crystals in it too. So again, I added a clear layer and then I started tapping in those pixie crystals and then I cure it and then I encapsulate. I feel so all over the place today. What is wrong with me? So after I fully cure that for a full 60 seconds, I'm going in with the nail cleanser as usual, cleaning off that sticky layer because we're going into filing. I start filing the sidewalls. I wanted these extremely crisp. I wanted the stiletto nails to be extremely pointy. So, you know, you see me really sharpening those up. Um, and then for the coffin, filing the sidewalls and then the free edge straight. And then I do go over the surface as well to debulk a little bit it 
and to remove any kind of lumps and bumps um, after I do that I do go ahead with my fine taper drill bit for the fine taper drill bit I'm using that at 22,000 rpm and that's where I go around my cuticle section I do go over the body again just to really perfect the shape um, and like I said really kind of debulking it because doing so many layers and encapsulating and it really kind of takes you know its own little form and shape so I'm just trying to bring back everything in and really you know you know tuck everything in to where everything is supposed to be <laughs> So I wanted to add again a little bit more purple um, because like I said I'm trying to listen to you guys on what you guys want and I felt like that purple didn't come through at all once I did that one layer of you know that encapsulation but this is where I just go in and I start drawing little lines um, up in there with that purple and then I do go in with a brush and kind of like smooth it out and you are going to see that when it came to the middle nail I do end up fully removing it because I changed my mind on what I wanted to do for that um, but yeah so once I end up doing this I do go ahead I use a little bit of alcohol just to smooth out those lines a little bit just to make it a little bit more blurry and then I flash cured it in place so this is where I go ahead and I change my mind so I remove all the line right that I just did and I ended up trying to sketch out you know two female silhouettes um for you know to represent Gemini but yeah it did not work out how I wanted to so my original thought was sketching it out and going in with some foil to make you know them in gold and yeah it did not work I struggled so much I think I ended up trying three times to do this so I ended up being frustrated with this after I did it so you're gonna see me once again remove it um, and like I said, I'm only showing you one time uh, about me removing it, but I tried it three other times. So after I did that, I decided maybe I can just go in with some uh, like a glittery gold art paint and try to paint it on like that. And again, I struggled. I tried this two times. Still, I struggled. So I ended up erasing it again. And it was just I was not satisfied and it was taking me way too long to complete so I ended up just forgetting you know like I'm not even gonna try to draw it I'm not gonna try to attempt it I was being way too you know way too like OCD with myself to do this so I just decided to go in with some stickers <laughs> So the stickers that I got, I believe I got these from um, Shein and I am going to use both of these. It's like a silhouette, a female silhouette, you know, with the face and it has like flowers on it. I thought it just, it was just pretty and I just wanted a physical silhouette of it. So of you know two females and yeah so once i did that i ended up going in and i hand drew the symbol itself um and again i wasn't really satisfied with this so you are gonna see me go in again and do something else with that later trying to fix it up but for the middle i mean for the ring nail i decided to go in with the actual gemini word and i forgot i had these stickers so i went in with these stickers and it fit 
perfectly down the middle now if you guys remember i do have the actual like a charm of the zodiac name but i decided to not use it i decided to turn it into something and you're gonna see towards the end what i turned it into but um after i stuck on those letters i do go in and i do a top coat because i thought i was done and i wasn't really done so i ended up flash curing not flash curing i ended up curing it for a full 60 seconds and then for that you know zodiac symbol i decided to go in and i added you know some foil gel because i wanted these to be a little bit more gold so i took that foil and then yeah i think it just turned out better and then i added top coat for it and it kind of gave it almost like a 3d effect like it popped out and if you guys remember from the previous zodiac series i do have the little charms and i ended up turning the name into a ring you guys this shit was so hard excuse my language but anyway yeah i just wanted to incorporate it i didn't want it to be physically on the nail but yeah i turned it into a ring and this is what the nails look like now they are opally ish <laughs> think i could have used less a milky white and you could kind of see you know the purple and pink not really i'm not even gonna say you could see i think the lighting is really bad in person it looks amazing i'm trying to get you guys really good shots of it but yeah this is what the nails look like i love the golds of course you guys know i'm a gold lover i think if it was a little bit more on the pink and purple side i think it would look so so much better and look at my little fake ring up there the gemini ring that i turned into but yeah let me know what you guys think as far as the next zodiac episode is going to be cancer if i'm not mistaken but yeah let me know what you guys think in your opinions on cancer and what you guys suggest as far as color wise i want your opinion even the style and shape of the nails but yeah let me know what you guys think of this design and like i said i could have did so many things different i could have did these a lot easier but in the long run i think they just are really pretty um and the opal you kind of could see it but like i said i'm gonna take a better video i'm gonna try to take a better video maybe in different lighting and show you guys what they look like but yeah that is it for this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one love ya